Okay, so now it's time for our sketch. Um, we're going to have to start labeling these things here. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Okay, so uh, we might want to name this uh, temperature LM35 sensor, LM35 temperature sensor, something like that, but I'll get to that in a second. We built our very simple circuit today. On page 20 of your tutorial book, it lays out a lot of stuff. First of all, I want to say all that light green stuff is what is referred to as comments. So if you were to throw two backslashes together like that, anything you write after that will be in light gray, and it won't be read by the compiler. So those are comments. Those are for humans to understand what's going on because, you know, language isn't always really clear uh, in terms of what it's saying. Uh, well, yesterday we had a constant integer, but today we have an integer because it's changing. So it's certainly not constant. We're going to name that the LM35 uh, pin, that's capital P, then lowercase i n. Uh, and I'm going to call it that because, well, that's what your tutorial called it. That's what I'm going to call that. Uh, we're going to tell it, hey, uh, we're talking about uh, analog zero there. There you go, analog zero. And we're done with defining and naming there. So uh, great. Remember, our three paces are uh, define, set up, and then loop. So we are one third of the way done already. All right, so now we're going to do our setup. So void setup. Remember our two smooth parentheses open and close. Hit return. Open your brackets. Close your brackets. And then do your uh, setup between those brackets to make sure that it gets enclosed. Very simple setup here. We are going to be using a serial monitor today. And so uh, what that means, just like a serial plug is talking from one thing to another, we're going to be getting data from the Arduino into our laptops. So we'll need a serial connection. We're going to have to tell it how fast we want that connection to be. Uh, we're, today we're going to be using uh, 9,600 uh, bytes per second because, well, that'll get the job done. So um, pretty slow, right? But 9,600 will get uh, plenty of data. Uh, in, into our laptop so that we can use it in some kind of a spreadsheet. All right, so uh, that is uh, serial dot uh, begin. Okay. Yeah, should all turn orange. Um, and then this is where you tell it the rate you want it to process at. 9600, no units there, bytes per second is what they are. Great, good news, we're done with our setup. Next on to the loop. Void loop. All right, a little more work here. Uh, we have uh, this integer. And I would like to call that an analog value. So there it is. It should not turn orange. And we're just kind of telling it these are numbers that we're going to work with. And then our next number we're going to work with is called a float. Now it has a lot to do with the setting on your calculator called float. So uh, float temperature. Um, float's going to keep it a decimal so that we don't overround it. So uh, uh, on your scientific calculators, you can select float, like how many digits do you want to float. If we say don't float anything, it'll overround everything to, to zeros or ones. So uh, we're going to float temperature. Because we don't want to lose our decimal points. We like our decimal points. They make us feel smart. There we go. So next is uh, this analog value and what it equals. Now it's time to tell uh, what analog value is. We're going to say, well, analog uh, value is actually equal to the analog read of pin A0, which we called... LM35 pin. Okay, so that's the actual number that's coming out of the Arduino as a voltage signal. We're going to have to do some things to it because it's actually a number between 0 and uh, 1023. So uh, uh, we'll talk more about why that is later, but we, we'll have to deal with this problem today. And you'll see that we'll have to divide by 1323 kind of to make it a percentage. All right, well, uh, next, uh, we're going to talk about temperature and what it is. So temperature is equal to uh, the float of the analog value. 
Now remember the analog value is the analog read from pin A0. Let's see if we got everything right there. Analog, anal. I think we forgot a G there, right? Okay. Ten, uh, and then we're going to divide it by 10, 23. That's that number because we're going to get a number that's between 10 and 23. This is going to scale it. Okay. So just like if you took uh, 100 and divided by 100, you get 1 or 100 percent. Now, um, remember, our program reads from top to bottom, so we're going to retell it what temperature really is. Uh, and there was a correction that I have to show you guys on the whiteboard here if we have time today. It has to do with some material that we're going to cover in February called Ohm's Law. So it uh, looks like I misspelled that several ways. Temperature. Okay, and then we're going to have to multiply this temperature times 500. And like I said, I'll talk more about why that is uh, in, in later lectures. Uh, you can read if you'd like, but it might not make a lot of sense to you because, like I said, it's just information we haven't covered yet. All right, well, now uh, what we'd like to do is uh, display this data. And so that's called a serial print. So now we are going to print out what the serial monitor is seeing. So serial print, uh, we're going to say uh, temp, and whenever we put something between um, quotes like that, it's just going to write out what we say. So temp, okay. Oh, temp colon, sorry. Temp colon, there we go. And I was supposed to put a space in there too, apologize. Great. We'll close that up. So that's the first thing it's going to print. The next thing it's going to print is the actual temperature. So this is like uh, the first one was just letting you know what, what it is, and the second one's the actual number. So serial print temperature. Close it up. And then serial print one more thing. The units. Let's just make it look pretty. Okay. Great. Well, now we need to tell, uh, if you don't tell it to delay, like every one second, it's going to go crazy, giving you lots of temperatures. So don't forget to have it do a reading for every one second. Ladies and gentlemen, when we help out the math classes, this has to be one second. And I'll show you more as to why that is later. Let's see if we messed up anywhere. All right, looks good. Um, looks like I needed to uh, tell it which uh, port we're on. This is a, uh, a Mac, so it's a little different than you guys. So don't, don't look at what I'm doing here. You don't need to know. Unless you get a Mac, then I'm just sorry you have a Mac. All right. And we're done, and it looks like nothing's happening, right? Well, because we've got to click this serial monitor button right here. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Okay, so great. It says temp 0.51. See, I'm not sure what that one's about. Then it says temp 21.51. See, okay. So uh, we got some things we could clean up here. For instance, if we put the print ln function right there, our last print, and upload it, let's see what just that tiny little change does. Gotta love coding. Oh, that makes more sense. Okay, great. Excellent. So there we go. Our temperature is 21.4. I'm going to put my finger on it to see if I get any kind of a change in temperature. Oh, I immediately see a temperature increase. Great. All right, and then you should start to see it cool off. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the sketch as it sits, but we need to go farther with this. So I'll have more for you in a moment. Thank you guys very much.